Your first task for this week's hunger project was to identify some causes of hunger globally and then some causes of hunger here within the United States. They tend to be a little bit different judging on where the hunger occurs, but globally some of the main causes you might have found were food shortages, poor infrastructure, war and conflict, that's a huge one in some um, areas of the world, and an unstable economy. In the United States, job instability, nutritional quality of food, because a lot of people are out there buying processed foods, um, and that can lead to obesity. Um, so um, uh, although you, know, you think of hunger and you think of not having enough food, being too skinny, um, obesity is um, also an issue when it comes to hunger. Um, being shamed or being humiliated by hunger um, and inflation costs of um, food that is good for you um, and your job for adults not paying enough um, and not going on par with those inflation costs for food um, is also an issue. And then worldwide, um, globally and within the United States, the biggest factor that contributes to hunger is poverty. So poverty is the big key player, no matter where you are, um, for the top contributor to hunger. The thing is, is that here in America, we have the food. Food waste in America is super high. We have it. We have all the food that you could possibly need. The problem is access and the problem is cost for many people. So that's where poverty comes into play. So I hope you found some interesting things about um, the main problems for hunger. And in this next part of your video, we're going to go into what the costs of hunger are. Now for this last part about the cost of hunger, I'm leaving that word cost a little bit open for you. Do you want to take it the literal route or do you want to take it a little bit more um, of the figurative route? If you wanted to go literally and talk about the literal cost of hunger, there were a lot of ways that you could look at it. What is it costing nations to feed people, to assist people, to be able to um, provide help to the people that need to eat. Or you could have looked at in the United States, it costs a little bit over $3 per meal. That's what's reported um, for the average American to eat a meal if they are going out and buying their food. It costs a little bit over $3 per that meal if you're eating three meals a day. You could have talked about maybe a, a, a little bit more of a figurative approach to this. So you could have gone and you could have talked about the personal cost. Like what is it costing people to be hungry? You know, what kind of sacrifices are they having to make? What is that cost that they're having to pay? You, if you watched um, the video, you know, there is there was a mom that couldn't go to college. She is paying a price, so she is making that sacrifice. She is not going to go to college so that her children can eat. Those are costs. So what other types of costs did you see? This was a very wide open kind of thing, more of like a discussion, um, a way that you could look at it from different angles. So. Um, I'm looking forward to expanding upon that this week and we're going to take it a couple of steps further and um, dig a little bit deeper into hunger this week.